Alright, Halos, welcome back. How's everyone doing? We are once again going to be trying to Victus out. I uh, just wanted to show you some of the other stuff that we're going to be doing as well pretty soon. This is all the different maps we're going to be going through. Uh, and then, of course, we'll do some of the original maps and try to do the Easter eggs on those as well. I got the T7 patch, so um, this should be uh, much better. I also want to do this pretty soon here, but uh, yeah, there's a couple of cool things. I've got like Hell's Moving Castle. I've, I don't even know what the, about, much about this map at all, but uh, I love Studio Ghibli. Studio Ghibli, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Ve Victus, though, is what we're going to be doing today. And it looks like um, the things are actually, the storyline here is actually set uh, just after the shocking climax of Tog der Toten from Black Ops 4. Uh, so, yeah, let's jump into it. Let's go ahead and load it up. And then I have the main Easter egg steps here. If you watched the previous Ve Victus video, uh, I could not figure out how to fire the, what was it called? Let me. The giant railgun. Uh, it, actually, it looks like it was just a button. I found it out like right after I finished the video. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do the Easter egg steps this time and do all that. I kind of want to also explore just like the whole map and kind of see everything. We might do that eventually later on, but I kind of want to try the, East, the main Easter egg, main Easter egg rather, if I can first and see if I can complete that. Um, but yeah, it wants us to reach round three. Uh, and then finish the objective for that round, but don't travel to the next one. So that is what we're going to be doing there. Uh, and then we follow the lighthouse, the lighthouse light, collect the artifacts at each of those places, and then we've got tons of other steps as well. But yeah, let's jump into it. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Uh going to assume that all of us are completely on board with interdimensional time travel by this gun. point. I've been around a lot longer than you, boy. Back of Broken Arrow. Oh, wrote let's a go. Book on interdimensional time travel. It wasn't a very good book. Too many inaccuracies. But we still wrote it. Okay. <laughs> okay. No need to get testy. I think we all learned some valuable lessons about teamwork on our last uh, adventure. Okay. Let's stop getting the lay of the land. Rust man likes to have all his exits covered. If you get my meaning. Alright, this is just ammo. I'm not super worried about that just yet. Alright, new objective found, escort. Alright, so it looks like we do have a diff bit of a different mission than the first time we did. Uh, it's going to be escort, probably over here at this little uh, facility. Oh, nice! We're playing this Misty. Dude, love this character. Let's go, Max Ammo. Got a little bit of a teleporter there if we need to get around the map quickly or anything, but we don't need that just right now. Appreciate the offer, though. Alright, let me get back used to these controls. It's been a quick minute, you know. Got the barn from, uh, what is it? Uh, farm? Yeah, farm. Ooh, hello. What is this? Open loot chest. Let's check it out. Uh, Gersh device. Nice. That's good. Fling grenade. No, I want the Gersh device. Much more than the fling grenade. Alright. What else do we have here? Okay, this is the escort, it looks like. Um, let me get a different gun than the pistol here, I think. Probably would probably be a good idea. I did a lot of setup in the previous uh, run of this map, and while it was great, it did take quite a while to do, which uh, I'm not a big fan of wasting. Uh, well, not me wasting your time, but you know, spending a lot of time on specific things, I guess. So let's try to get a, a good weapon here real fast. Ooh, another Gersh device, nice. Those things are awesome. Try to get another weapon. I know there's a box right over here, so that's what I'm going for here. Ouch. Try not to lose our quick revive either. We also need to get perks for sure. But uh, I think we can do this this little mission here without much problem, to be honest with you. I wonder if the. Uh, if you can like, put a gun in the, the fridge here. Oh, uh, no, the fridge isn't even here. Alright. Hope they can't jump up here. The M16. Well, not exactly what I'm looking for, but it'll do. It'll suffice. Oh, let's go. What do we get? Speed Cola. Sweet. It's, I love Speed Cola. 
Ouch, ouch, ouch. What the heck? Alright, easy now. Got a few more Gersh devices, it looks like. Yeah, this gun isn't like the best, but hey, it's something at least, right? Well, while we have double points, let me go ahead and use it real quick. Another Gersh device. Nice, nice. Well, since we got so many of them, might as well just throw them out, right? Oh, this one just despawned. Okay, never mind. That's fine then. Insta kill. Insta kill, nice. You love that, love that. Alright, that was all of that. So let's go ahead and start the uh, the thing. What do we have, by the way, as our specialist here? Kind of want to see. Oh, okay, we're getting teleported somewhere. Okay, same place. Alright, we're looking good so far. We have some special stability here, though, I noticed. Get this ammo for sure. Alright, we're going inside the barn, it looks like. Nice. I'll definitely take the ammo. Oh, it's going upstairs? Okay. Interesting, interesting going outside or something wait what huh wait I'm trapped what what wait it wouldn't let me go huh okay well we lost all of our perks for that so thank you for that it wouldn't let me mantle that object so that's pretty cool <laughs> oh wait, that was a perk. What's that? Don't die, don't die. Oh, we got a quick revive back. Good, 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 good. Well, we lost our speed cola, so that kind of sucks, to be honest. But it's not the end of the world. It's all right. It just sucks. All right, got some more drops there, but not nothing any nothing crazy or anything. Oh, another perk bottle. Oh, we got a key too. Oh, shoot. Careful, what did we get there? Stamina up? Sweet, that helps for sure. Where are we going? Inside, okay. Oh, what is this? Legendary MG or something. Okay. Okay, looks like that was it for the objective then. Objective complete plus 1,000. Nice, we have 5,000 points now. My sensors indicate the magic in the very air around you has begun to move due to your actions. Ooh. Keep it up. If this is I what I think sure it is, it this is great. Primary prerogative to get you back from whence you came. Find nice. And keep Let's go. Where's it? Where did it go? Through here. Let's get all these points that we can get. We can, and then we'll head over to the bus. Where did it go? It looks like it went inside here, but it might have just gone through the area. Here it is. Found it. Yes, nice. And then it went over this direction. Let's keep following it. Let's get as many of these points as we can, because this thing is awesome. This isn't like near the edge of the map, is it? Oh, okay. We're inside the ground. That's not great. Okay, let's get out of this, that that part of the map. <laughs> That's interesting. All right. A lot. <laughs> Ooh, fling grenade. I don't really need anything else there. That looks so cool. All right, cool. 
Uh, well, let's head to the objective then. Uh, we have a lot of points now, which is really awesome. Uh, what is this? Let's just test our ability. Is it Ring of Fire? I think it's Ring of Fire, yeah. Nice, well, Ring of Fire is great. Increases your damage, and then you don't have to reload. It takes it out of your stockpile. What other things does it do exactly? All right, lots of pretty good amount of time too, so that's always great. Uh, let's definitely get as many kills on the way as we can. What is this? Fling grenade. No, don't need that. But thank you for the offer. And then I would like to get a different automatic weapon. If I can. Uh, so yeah, that would be ideal. We can actually go through here. Which, at fir the first time I played through it, I was like, mm, can we? Uh, but yeah, we can. I thought it might hurt you or like take you out or something, but... You are able to go through there, so that's always good. Nice, got some ammo there. A little campfire going on. <laughs> uh, there's a ton of Easter eggs on this map, and huge shout out to all the people that made the map because it is awesome. But yeah, okay, yeah, that guy just despawned. Sounds like there's a guy up there, maybe. Not sure. Okay, there's one. But yeah, we'll definitely take as many uh, many points as we can get. That's for sure. So while we're moving, we need to like take out take out guys, take out buddies. That guy was kind of kind of erratic, just a bit. Okay, nice. Our our things respawned. Our re re uh, regenerated specialist ability. If I could aim, that would be ideal, you know? <laughs> it would be helpful, for sure. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a perk bottle. Let's go. That's awesome. That's another thing I want. Oh, okay, let's go. Okay, we already have stamina up, but let's take this. Double tap two. Sweet. Nice. That saves us some points that we don't have to waste later. And now our weapon's gonna do a lot more damage. That's always great. Toss this guy out since we got one here. Any drops that we can get, I would appreciate. That guy's a little bit stuck. Alright, nice. We're doing good. That's just some ammo, which I do like, but I'm not super worried about it right now. We'll get more later. I will take this one since it's a little bit closer. Is that another Gersh device? Okay, sure. I don't mind. <laughs> See if there's any drops and we'll kind of slowly back away a little bit. That guy's a bit stuck, so he's not going to go all the way. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything useful like uh, perks or anything. Dropped, so that's fine. Ooh, look at that lightning. That's cool. You got quick. All right, perfect. Well, let's go ahead and get some stuff done. So we definitely want. Not gone unnoticed, humans. My allies have begun to take heed of the changes in magic around us. Upgrade your armaments, and the beacon will send you to your next objective. All right, uh, and then let's go ahead and get the other. We are safe while we're here, by the way. Let's go ahead and get the other perks that we need. Um, so obviously. I think I will get Mule Kick, because it's really good, but let's first get these real quick. Speed Cola and Jug. Uh, I do like Electric Cherry a lot, and I need PhD because I have Ray Gun, and I don't want to hurt myself. Uh, and then I would like to get Mule Kick if we can, but we need a little bit more points for that, so we might have to be a little bit careful with that one. Also, I don't think the ammo drops that drop on the ground re replenish the ray gun ammo. I think you just need max ammos or something for that. So I do want to be a little bit sparing with the, the ray gun ammo. But we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and get those 4,000 points real fast. Shouldn't be too much longer or too hard. Some ammo there. And then I want to get an extra gun as well. So I probably need about 5,000 total. But let's first start with mule kick and then we can worry about the other things later. Alright, nice. Alright, this should get us 4,000 right here. 
take out the other guys while we're on our way out. Alright, and then let's get Mule Kick. And I believe there's a mystery box right over there as well, so we can grab that other gun uh, pretty soon here. I kind of want to get rid of this gun as well if we can, <laughs> but I'm not super worried about it or anything. slider. I forgot about that. Oh, what is this? Double tap 2.0. I think we already have that one, so nothing really there, but hey, at least it's something, you know? Alright, we almost have 950 for the box. If I could hit this guy, that'd be great. <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, I think it's healing aura, right? Oh, no, it's ether shroud. Okay, nice. I actually do want Ether Shroud, honestly, so that's cool. Don't worry, Ether Shroud is awesome! Alright, one more Zomble. Nice. Let's take this guy out on the way as well. And then let's go ahead and grab our, f our third weapon. And then we can swap this guy out uh, pretty soon. We also got a key there, I noticed uh, earlier on from one of the drops. So there was that as well. Alright, Spitfire. Cool. I don't remember this gun, but. It looks pretty cool. Can I pick this up while I'm going through it? Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. Just checking. Doesn't have a lot of ammo is my only worry, and it has a little bit of kick. Not the biggest fan of that, but hey, it'll be alright. Uh, let's go ahead and board the bus and head on to the next level, I think. Yeah, I don't want to waste you guys time too much. We're also going to grab a shield here, so there we go. Two to equip the zombie shield. Left mouse for the rocket boost, so we do have the rocket boost as well. Nice. Ooh, ether tool, what is that? Oh, wait, did that upgrade my weapon? Oh, I was wondering what that was the last time. I didn't actually realize what it was. That's kind of cool, actually. Not gonna lie. So, I think they have the rarities and stuff from Cold War. Uh, obviously, there's a bunch of stuff from Cold War in this. But, um, yeah, that's that's really cool. So, either tool looks like it upgrades your rarity, which means your damage is upgraded as well. That's awesome, because you do have the Golden Ray Gun in this as well. If you, if you didn't notice, down on the bottom right, you've got a little stuff there. Energy mine, that's kind of interesting. Alright. Um, let me hit the box once more. Oh, I shouldn't have thrown that. That's fine, though. Yeah, let me hit it once more and see what we can we can get out of it. L4 Siege. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep mine actually right now. All right. Well, let's let's roll with these weapons then, and see what we can get done with them. <laughs> I might just use the M16 honestly. A little bit more than the other stuff. Let me grab this ammo real fast though. I think it's worth it. All right. Let's go ahead and go to the round two kind of like outbreak mode almost in that in that sense get some points on the way out nice all right here we go warp time all right so yeah we have to get to round three and then finish the objective on round three but don't take the bus uh, we'll just do the some of the stuff from there but yeah all right new objective found hold Children, out make yourselves wary I feel that disturbing energies coalesce around you. Okay. Oh, we've got these guys now. That's always fun. Yeah, it does get harder. We got a loot chest here, some Gersh devices, which is always nice, but it, there wasn't any, um, whatchamacallits. Oh, yeah, we've got these guys as well. There wasn't any guns. That's kind of what I was looking for there, to be honest. Oh, what is that? Oh. Okay. 
Interesting. It's like a mini death machine or something almost. That's interesting. Okay, it ran out. Okay, we got dogs as well. Got some armor, it looks like. Or at least maybe that'll repair my shield or something. Something along those lines, at least. But yeah, the de enemies are definitely harder, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we, we do want to get some, uh, some good... What do you call it? Pretty soon here. Some good weapons, some better weapons, basically. Alright, let's go ahead and head down there. I'm going to use my parachute so we can kind of travel a little bit quicker. And avoid that little bit of water as well. I think the enemies get quicker as well. But uh yeah. PhD sliders. Prepare super yourself nice. for battle and find that energy source. Touching it will bring you to the horde. Find the energy source. I can't remember what this was exactly. Oh yeah, there it is. From beyond the grave. Grab your weapons, my little one. We teleport to a little holdout area and then we try to survive, I think. We don't have the best weapons for it, but we'll be fine. I think. <laughs> I hope. Alright, this looks like a pretty cool place. Oh, hello. Yeah, see, it, it don't doesn't let you pick it up. <laughs> just kind of interesting. I'm hoping they just come from downstairs, because that I can handle. But if they come in behind me, it's going to be a little bit more annoying. I've got some, uh, some more guys outside. I can't remember their names. Is it Avogadros or something? There they are. Ooh, quick revive. I think I already have that, but... Put some hair there on we go. Ooh, oh, Tempest, that's right. right Tempest's from Cold War. I forgot. Yeah, it sounds like there's some outside. Some guys. We just have holdout, so basically we just gotta survive. Uh, obviously, it'd be nice to get some points, but it's not a big deal or anything, I don't think. I think some of them are stuck down there, though. Which is kinda nice for us, honestly. Go, another Tempest elimination. I don't know if it's worth picking this up, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up anyway. Probably not, honestly. It does give you 400 points, but I don't know. It might be worth it, honestly, because you do get less points in this uh, mode for killing zombies, as you've noticed, than uh, the normal. And also, you don't get points for just shooting zombies. It's just for the eliminations, basically. <laughs> Interesting looking dude. Alright, nice. We finished our holdout mission. And I definitely want to get better guns and pack a punch them a little bit as well. What a victory and unharmed. Nice too. objective complete. You truly are brave, even if you are alien here, Realm Walkers. Go and recuperate. You must ensure you are in top form before you continue. Ooh, insta kill. Insta kill. If I do. This is really in the middle of fucking nowhere. Oh, 
All right, let's see what we've got over here. We've got the no, bus way over there. It looks like. Possible. That is the tip of the first Archon spear, our clan's holiest of holies. But I thought it was lost. Evidently, the recent upheaval in our land has brought it to light. Even the empty stones that powered your world now yield to its will. Ooh. Oh, slider. Okay, we already have it, but I appreciate the offer. Let's go ahead and check out this little chest here. Go fast. Gersh device. Sure, why not? Let's throw one out. What was that? Deadshot Daiquiri. Oh, nice. Oh, I didn't read what it said. It said it adds scopes to weapons? Well, at least the machine doesn't card me. Or something like that. Okay. Nice. Well, we just got another free Gersh device, so let's go ahead and drop this guy. And pick that up. These Gersh's are so cool. <laughs> I got some drops. I already have all of the perks, I'm pretty sure, on this map. And I'm so glad that there's a no perk limit. We'll go ahead and drop another one. Let's head that direction anyway. Uh, to the bus. Alright, looks like that was it. Alright, let's get out of here. But yeah, we do need another weapon, so we should probably do that pretty soon as well. You know what? I might just go ahead and do that now. Uh, B23R, not really what I'm looking for, to be honest. What else we got? M1911, that's the starting weapon, so now let's not do that one. <laughs> Alright, well, let's try let's try a different box, maybe. Got lots of boxes around the map, which is nice. Let's try this one real fast, see what we got. PPSH41, honestly? Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. It sounds a little weird, but I like the weapon. It's a good weapon. It's also got a lot of ammo, which is nice. Another perk. Remove scope sway. Oh, that's what it said. Okay. Oh, we do drop our weapon at least. So this is that as well. Electric cherry. More damaging with emptier magazines. That's interesting as well. Let's hit it once more and see what we've got. Oh, that just disappeared. That's fine though. Kind of want to get rid of the Spitfire KRM. Ooh, oh, yeah. I like the KRM actually. It's kind of cool. Let's hit it another time. See what we got. Uh, the Peacekeeper. Ooh, that's nice. That's real nice. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Another Gersh device. Sure, why not? I might pack a bunch of this one. It does feel pretty good. It's kind of like a norm more normal uh, assault weapon or assault rifle rather. There we go, we got him. Honestly, the PC PPS agent isn't bad, it just has a little bit of uh, recoil that I don't like. Other than that, it's fine. <laughs> hmm, let's try one more hit, see what we get, and then if it's not good, then I'll just kind of go on with these. SVU, yeah, I don't really like snipers, honestly. At least not in zombies. Did it say uh, Deadshot like reduces or removed uh, scopes? Is that what it said? Because that is actually really cool. Not gonna lie. Symbol monkey. 
not really what we're looking for, but I appreciate the offer. Can we mantle this? We should be able to. There we go. Nice. Oh, man, Another PhD pretty, kill. Sure <laughs> but yeah, we can pack a punch. I think I'm gonna hmm, pack much the ray gun would be really good actually. Peacekeeper. I think I'll pack a bunch the peacekeeper though. Because um ceasefire, nice. Because it's a more normal weapon, and we can get like ammo back for it from the ammo drops and stuff. And also, uh, the ray gun does a lot of damage already since it's a golden gun. Golden tier, whatever you want to call it. Oh, is this a mangler? Yeah, it is. So yeah, we don't really need the, uh, the extra damage on the ray gun just yet. We might in the future, but for now we're fine. So yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Get a few more eliminations here, just for some extra points. And then we should be good. Oh nice, we got another key. Sweet, that is super useful actually. I forgot about this, when you hold down this weapon without uh, scoping down, it like, makes you run super fast for some reason. It's kinda weird. I like it though. Grab the Gersh. Bunch of free points. Nice, good stuff, good stuff. All right, I think we'll go ahead and head onto the bus. Try not to delay the, the video super rounds. Go ahead and change rounds. So once we get to round three, we gotta complete the objective, but just don't teleport to the next round yet. All right, let's do it. If we can find some more of those uh, drops that like. Just drop a ton of points, that'd be amazing as well. Alright, objective over here. Alright. Got the lighthouse there from Call of the Dead. Love to see that. Oh, that was interesting. I like slid into some geometry there or something. That was cool. All right. Looks like we gotta do something over here. So let's go ahead and do that real fast. Brain dead scientists. Oh, that about sums it up. Who would ever want to work at a place like this? We have to defend them or something. What is this? But we're looking for shittier people than you. Response. Request organic soldier dispatch immediately to destroy empowered corpse walkers and use explosives to destroy the anchor. Ooh, Remington New Model Army, that's kind of cool. I feel like it's not going to be as good as my weapons, but uh, I like it. So we gotta place the bomb and then get out, or what? Destroy the anchors, okay. Um, how do we get over there? Here it is. Hold E to place the bomb. Okay. But it didn't let me do it though. Hold E to place the bomb? What? Oh, do we have to pick up the bombs or something? Wait, what? What is this guy? Oh, with the pick up the bomb? Oh, okay. I did not know that. Alright. Well, let's try to get through here then. Let's place it. You placed it, right? Do we need more than one bomb? Hold either place the bomb. That didn't do anything. Okay. Do we need... I don't understand, actually. Oh, here's something. The guy threw the wall here. And I'm running out of time real quick, though, on this, so... That's great. Uh... Ouch. Yeah, I think I'm gonna fail this one real fast. <laughs> this guy's, like, in the wall. I don't know. Let's try one of these. Okay, we got the bomb somehow. So we have a 
couple bombs in or what? Okay, nice. Well, we got one down at least. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do the other one in 30 seconds though, to be honest. <laughs> I'd love to be able to, but uh, that one took a while. Oh, wow, that guy took a lot of kills. A lot of, uh, a lot of damage. Yeah, in 20 seconds? I don't think so, buddy. Where even are the bomb dudes? <laughs> Here's one. Where's the other one? Yeah, we failed that for sure. I am now detecting otherworldly energy signatures of great power. I believe more artifacts from your world have just pierced through the dimensional veil. Humans, if this is true, this energy and data could be extremely valuable in our plight to get you home. Use the beam from the corruption engine we created nearby you to wirelessly transmit it to us. What in the world? Ah, yes. Of course you would be unfamiliar with our world's creations. We constructed it using that, how do you say, lighting house that arrived from your world up on the hill. Its beam of light is used to manipulate energy into data the librarian can absorb. Alright, I guess we completed the objective even though we kind of failed it, but that's cool. I appreciate that. Alright, so, uh, what we have to do here is activate this guy somewhere. I can't remember where exactly though. Pretty sure. That's what it made us do last time, at least. You walked into the wrong bar, buddy boy. Or maybe it's broken again. I don't know. Shouldn't be broken, to be honest. Did we fail the mission or something? Let's finish the objective for that round. But I thought I did. So now I'm confused. <laughs> Oh no, that's right, I'm doing it out of order. That's why. Okay, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So we have to go to the place where the lighthouse is showing right now. What was that? Oh, max ammo, nice. That'll help. So now we have ammo for our ray gun. Sweet. Oh, let's go. We found another one. Nice. Yeah, this one gives a ton of points, which I think it went through here. Oh, it went up there somewhere. Okay. Somewhere over here. Here it is. One more. There we go. Alright, where did it go now? Over here? Yeah, it looks like. Actually, no, I don't want that right now. Where did it go exactly? Oh, here it is. Nice. Alright, nice. Event complete as well. And we got a Sliquifier? Wait, that's awesome. Let's get that. Spitfire, a Banshee? What the heck is a Banshee? Land upon an active Sliquifier puddle to what? What did that say? Oh, that's so cool. Okay, awesome. Well, now we have two wonder weapons, which is amazing. And the ceasefire, which is a good weapon as well. So nice. Good stuff. Alright, um, yeah, we're still going to the area that the... What's it called? Is... What did we get to drop there? For? Oh, looks like maybe a, a perk or something. Yeah, it looks like. I'll drop another Gersh, though, since the Gersh just popped here. I don't, I don't see why not. Alright, that'll at least give us some extra, extra, um, whoop, hello. <laughs> nice. Freaking one-shot him, that was awesome. Okay, anyways, uh, let's head over that direction now. But yeah, basically where the, uh, the lighthouse is shining on, there's a, uh, there's an artifact in that area. 
that we have to pick up. And there's one in Nuke Nuketown and one over at the diner. Can't remember exactly which where it was, but yeah. It's somewhere here. It might just be a random spawn, honestly, I don't know. I can't remember. But yeah, it should be somewhere. I think it was in the main area previously. It was like in one of these. Yep, here it is. This creation is obviously human crafted, and yet it is faintly similar to devices meant to manipulate native magics in the dark ether. I would surmise it was an attempt by your species at replicating a powerful dark ether tool of creation. See if the slicker fire takes him out. I must know more. I am uncertain that absorbing more of this unknown data is the correct course of action, librarian. Your willingness to dive into such dangerous energies makes me hesitant. Now you want to be careful what you put in your body now. Believe me, I know. Your hesitancy has been noted. There we go, we got him. <laughs> I will have preservationists begin running calculations on likelihood of dangerous side effects from this data. For now, we and our human allies must continue on our path. We will exercise caution and keep at it. Find the other artifact, humans. All right, let's find him. That itch. All right, let's use the PSG slider to get over there a little bit quicker. And then we gotta go to find the one at Nuketown. Oh yeah, that's right. We have a like little mini nuke when we uh. We fall from a little bit of a distance, which is nice. All right, so yeah, it's somewhere here in Nuketown. Um, I think previously it was over in one of these side houses, I think. I can't actually remember exactly. Ooh, the big loot chest here. Bunch of stuff. Another Banshee. Uh, what is this, RPK? Yeah, that's what I thought. Cool. But yeah, not what we're looking for. We're looking for this little, little artifact here somewhere. Once again, I can't remember exactly where it was, but it, that one was at least in the same spot, so I, th I feel like it would be here as well, but I'm not sure. Oh, maybe, maybe in here? Upstairs? I saw I'm ready to leave. <laughs> was it upstairs? I don't see it. Oh, I got a warden there. That's fun. Maybe over in this one. Hmm, nope. Let's not get trapped if we can avoid it. Oh, here it is. That's right, nice. Now I kind of remember with it, that. Another human built artifact, yet this one was clearly guided by hands from higher beings. Your species has quickly become the most interesting yet of all my studies. I can feel a darkness in this energy you continue to take in without heed, librarian. Your memory units are nearly full as is, and something like this could overwhelm you if we aren't careful. Everyone, nice. calm yourselves. As dangerous as this may be, it is still our only chance at oh, finding a way key. to nice. restore the magics. We got that Gersh device. Oh. Librarian, you are encircling a dangerous threshold. The Lord, like teleport For now, away children, or something. Find the beacon and move on. Yeah, here he is. There we go. We got him. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and reload that, and then let's get over this direction. We have enough to pack a punch quite a bit, actually. Here, we almost have enough to double pack a punch this guy, which might be the play, honestly. We'll see.
All right. Oh, another Gersh device. Nice. Don't mind if I do. Please. All right, yeah, we definitely have enough points now to double pack a bunch. I think that might be what we do want to do. I might just pack a bunch of these, though. Does it actually let us pack a bunch? Of it? Yeah, it does. You know what? I am going to go ahead and pack a bunch of the Wonder Weapons. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, and we are protected in this little area that we're in, which is nice. It's super nice. All right. Um, so after that... Uh, Collect the artifacts, travel to the next round. You're going to need to shoot down the meteorite. Alright. And then we go to town and then do a bunch of other stuff. So yeah. Alright. But yeah, I do want to get this double pack punched, honestly. I would like that. We insta died because we got too close to the bus. <laughs> this guy's crazy. Uh, yeah. Let's keep getting some points. At least a little bit more. Grab another Gersh device, absolutely. Alright, I think we'll go ahead and head out from here. Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. Alright, so we got the artifacts, so we travel to the next round. We're going to shoot the meteorite down, so we got to go to the Area 51 slash Broken Arrow facility, and then we're going to shoot the giant railgun. We've got to inter interact with it. And then we got to go to town. No, it literally says go to town. <laughs> Children, we have detected an artifact dwarfing the last two present nearby. It seems to be causing great interference to local magic currents. It sits on a meteorite, high above us. Yes, this energy signature is many, many magnitudes more powerful than the last two artifacts combined. Find a way to get that meteorite down to us, quickly. All right, bring down the artifact. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, let's see, we gotta go over here. I think it's on the right here somewhere. This guy right here, that's the real gun. That's what I messed up last time, I didn't realize. Alright, so let's shoot it. Alright, so it looks like it went over there. The object has landed in the nearby town. I surmise that with the sheer size of the data import, our wireless network may not hold up. I would prefer if you took us there in person to absorb the data. We cannot physically leave our home, so I will begin a temporary transference of our consciousness into your automaton friend. He should appear nearby afterwards. But look, it's from Darius. Move his head and take us to the final artifact. An ally on sight and one overhead. All right, so we gotta go to town. It's somewhere over here, I think. We go. Oh, remove Ted. Is that what I said? Oh, hello. Is this the artifact? Must be right. Requires Artemis interface. How do we get that? Go into the bout. Sorry, the bus and pick up Ted. Okay. My B, my B. Go to the MPD, they shot down with the railgun. In town. And travel to the next location. Alright. E to begin scamming. scamming. This artifact is incredibly powerful. I can feel energy fluctuating around it. This will take me a while to scan. Please hold.
Oh, what the heck? Otherworldly magic still resonating with this device have trapped us and are calling Shoot, out okay. to any undead that can feel its presence. What he means is Survive. that thing is ringing the damn dinner bell. Prepare yourselves for a battle, flesh warriors. The undead right. seek to end our journey before oh, it really begins. It's Ted. Oof, I got a little bit stuck there, not gonna lie. I believe in you, okay. Defend yourselves for a bit longer. People been counting out Rust Man for years. And it's no longer good at this one. I cannot get out of this life! But I'm dead. Ooh, this is gonna be hard. Alright, we got it though. I believe in us. Ouch, ouch. Alright. Alright, 14 more seconds, guys. We almost got it. Throw another Gersh. Nice. I think we got it. Unbelievable. Quick summaries of scans show the amount of data contained here is colossal. Transferring to memory banks for full scans. Transfer right. failed? Wait, why are we still in the human's automaton? It seems in the absorption of this artifact's power, we have crashed our network systems. We are unable to return to our physical forms. Problem. Artemis wireless network connection to Olympus lost. Suggested solution. Have the humans physically place the automaton head in transfer console at Olympus base, allowing us to return to our bodies. Yes, of course. Children, head to the beacon and place us there to continue to the next mission. I will contact you there with instructions to get us back to Olympus base. Alright, plus 9,000, let's go. Where's the beacon? Okay, the beacon, alright, cool. Uh, I am going to double pack punch this, although I, I almost want to double, double pack this guy, not going to lie. But I'm going to double pack this for now. Let's go, alright, nice. Test the bad boy out real fast. Nice. Did pretty good. We got a nuke. Kaboom. I'll take it. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and travel to the next location. I uh, don't need to repair the sh Oh, we got a little bit of lag here. Hold up, hold up. We're fine, we're fine. Let's go ahead and travel to the next location. Maybe that'll help. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Alright. Go to the forest near Nuke Town and kill zombies near the trees with faces. Okay. Eventually one will spit out a golden item, a branch. Okay. A little bit of lag. I think we're okay though. And with highest likelihood of success, given human capabilities, restarting the corruption engine in the lighthouse to teleport the humans to Olympus base via data transfer. New council here. Plan, preservationist. You truly are an intelligent creature. Humans tally ho to the lighthouse at once. I am quite eager to see what this pyramid's data will hold. A slight problem with your plan, gentlemen. The corruption engine will require a large singular charge of ethereal energy into the heart to trigger a manual reboot. And I do not believe humans possess the capabilities to wield such power naturally. Alright, we're still lagging. I'm not sure why, to be honest. Um, but yeah, unfortunately we are, which is a bit of a problem. Event complete, nice. Bunch of points there, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, let's figure out why we're lagging. I'm not sure. Give me one second, guys.
see if I can figure it out. Everything's fine in terms of like CPU, GPU, and everything. So I'm not sure why we're lagging. Is there a way we can adjust that in the graphics or something maybe? I don't know. Let's try let's try moving it up by one, see if that does anything. Nope. Still lagging a ton. Well that sucks, because uh we were doing really good this match. Okay. Well, uh, it wants us to go to the forest, but this is kind of like almost unwatchable in my opinion. I'm not sure why it's doing this to us. Maybe we'll lower this a bit, see if that helps. Let's try it out. Uh, we don't have to lower it like super crazy. Uh, let's try like 80%, see if that helps enough. Still choppy. Yeah, that's not helping. Okay. That's so weird. It was like perfect the entire time, and then right at the end of the mission there, it started These trees, lagging like crazy. I believe I know what they are. They are the memories of memories. The leftovers of your forgotten world. The priests once spoke of such things long ago. Alright, well, that's unfortunate, guys. I'm really sorry for this, but I guess we're going to go ahead and end the recording because, uh, <laughs> I mean... It's like almost unwatchable. It's like choppy and it's not because of the game, it's not because of my computer, which is really weird. But yeah. Alright, well, thank you guys for watching. Anyway, uh, sorry that this happened. Really am. I guess let's uh, let's have some fun here at the end then. Not the slick with fire. Let's have everyone just, uh, you know. Everyone slipping around. <laughs> Alright, well that was fun. I guess we might have even gotten one of the things. Let's go to the wooden bridge by diner and look for the purple ether crystal. Shoot it while standing under it and interact with it to pick it up. Yeah, I'm really not sure why it like just started randomly lagging. Um, maybe it's just because of the size of the map or maybe it was like a glitch. But it is kind of unfortunate to be honest. Either way. I mean, like, we can try to do the rest of the map, but it's it's going to be pretty unwatchable, which is unfortunate. Unless it fixes itself, but uh, it doesn't really look like it's going to be fixing itself. From what I can tell, at least. Maybe it will, though. we got to go to the, the diner bridge, which is right over here. I think that was a mingler that just spawned kind of in the air there. Uh, diner bridge, wooden bridge, and look for the purple ether crystal thingy. Oh, here it is. Shoot it down while standing above it. Aw, oh, crap. I messed it, seems it up. The tip will not touch it on holy ground. Perhaps it may prefer to reside among the hands of the worthy. Oh, this guy's about to land on top of us. Let's get out of here. I'm pretty sure we got it that time. Didn't we? Maybe not. Oh my gosh. This magic is unlike anything I have ever had before. It draws power from the almighty construct, Prophet. What did you expect? Now, we must find a vessel capable of channeling it. A powerful staff of some sort. There we go, got him. Double points. Now I'm
All right, what's the next the next step at least? Um, go to the green swamp place near the white the lighthouse and assemble the spear. Okay. Yeah, we did actually pick it up, even though it kind of looked like we didn't for a second there. Oh, the green swamp near the lighthouse. The green swamp. Is that this down here? Where do we assemble it? This is what it's talking about, right? The swamp. <laughs> yeah, they are. Alright, yeah, I'm not really sure where it wants us to head here, to be, to be honest with you. Oh, hey, what's up, Brutus? Or whatever your name is. The Warden. Green swamp near the lighthouse to assemble the spear. Well, this is the lighthouse, obviously. Back it up there, bozo! You do not have the Ethereum power necessary to jumpstart our corruption engine. Perhaps, since it does not come naturally to you, you would be able to craft a weapon capable of manipulating ethereal energy. Perhaps, perhaps. But how do I get over there? I mean, like, where am I supposed to go exactly? Is it here? Is this what you're talking about? Oh, maybe it's here. Oh, yeah, this is green. Okay. This must be it, right? How do I assemble the parts, though? Okay, this dog's had its shots. What does it say exactly? <laughs> All right, fill. Go to the green swamp near and assemble the spear. Fill the spear up with souls, and when it's done, pick it up. Warning: takes a weapon slot. Okay. What's well, the green spot? Or the green, the green swamp area for sure. Oh, where did he go? I don't know. Well, either way, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Unfortunately, it's like stuck at 30 FPS, and I'm not sure why. I'm pretty sure it's a glitch, but... Yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll do more Vape Victus for sure. Let me know if you guys want to see um, some of the other maps in the meantime, though. Uh, I do want to do a lot more in this map, but uh, for right now, I might do like some Town Remastered or something like that, or maybe the Howl's Moving Castle if you guys are interested. Uh, but yeah, let me know, and I'll catch you later. Peace.